praise God tonight. This is the, again, the Rise of Storm Mission Baptist Church. This is our regular Wednesday night Bible class. And we are so happy to be found present in the land of, of the dead and the dying. And, and we're the living. We have the life of God in us, in, in the dead and dying world. And we thank God for his life. We thank him for the soul life, the, the eternal life that God has deposited in us that we might enjoy the fellowship with, with him and with, with, the, with the Son and with the Holy Spirit. We thank God tonight for, uh, for his word, uh, for his word is our only hope. Amen. Uh, thank God for, for his word. Uh, uh, we've been looking at the, the book of Romans. Uh, I, I love Romans because once you get up a foundational knowledge of Romans, I think you can uh, you can be set for life and all set for eternity. Um, Paul takes Romans and remember I said last week that he he uses it to condemn everybody from the from the first chapter to three third chapter to twenty verse. He concludes that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and then he talks about this just just this thing that he sees, this new thing, and uh, it's, uh, God has set forth a propitiation, uh, an atonement that, that we, are, uh, we are justified by it because uh, it, is, it is God who saves us. We are justified oh, yeah. by, by faith in that, in that, in that, uh, uh, that a man cannot be justified by what he does, but by, by faith in God. And, and when I say faith in God, it's really it's faith in what God has done through Christ. And we don't want to use that term faith because a lot of people say God has faith. Well, faith is not just hang up in the air. It has, has, a, has to have an object. And the object of our faith is, is what God has done through Jesus Christ. And we have faith in Christ, that Christ has done all that was needed, all that God required to save us. Remember, it is God who, who gives the uh, gives the, the remedy for salvation. He said there could be no uh, a, a remission of sin without the shedding of blood. It is the blood of Christ who saves us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. There's nothing that a man can do that can warrant his, his salvation or favor with God other than throw himself on God's mercy and receiving the gift of God, which is Jesus Christ by by faith. We're saved by grace through faith. It is a gift of God, and, and you can't boast about it because God, God gives it to us. And this is Paul, Paul's argument with the Jews and with that church that God has given them salvation, that they did not earn it. And to the Jewish mind, that's mind boggling because they come from a, a work salvation kind of a mindset that they, they could earn it. And for, for them to hear Paul talk about this thing called grace, how that God saves sinners without works, it messes them up completely. And Paul knew he had to deal with it, and they, they claim it was something new, but Paul takes them all the way back to Abraham to show them that Abraham was justified by faith and not by the working of the law. God made promises to Abraham before his circumcision and not after his circumcision. It was nothing that he did but with what, with what God did to save, to save him. And that's the remedy that God uses for all who are saved, is that God sent Christ to die for our sins. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, if you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, that God raised him from the dead, that God will give unto you eternal life. And so Paul argues this with the Jews, and he set forth Abraham as an illustration of being justified by faith. And this, 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 this Jewish mind was struggling with that all the way to the fifth chapter. And they, they said, they said to Paul, can you lose it? And remember, we talked about that. And, and can you lose this out? Once you have it, well, the, the point would be is that you didn't do anything to earn it. And certainly you can't do anything to lose it. God gave it to us. A gift is a gift without attachment, mm -hmm. without, without any reciprocatory uh, 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 
thing that is given back to the person who gives it to you because when he, if you have to give them something back, either good or bad, then it ceases to be a gift. It becomes, it becomes work. And we are saved, we are saved by this thing called grace. And so remember last week we were talking about can, can you lose it? Can you lose it? Can Paul, Paul you, you say they say about grace, can they, can they lose this thing? And, and remember we said last week they came, they, they cannot lose it because the, 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 the problem with the relationship was that that that, that man and God was, was at war. God was at war with man because that God is holy and man is a sinner. And whenever you bring those two together, man is a loser. Huh? God, will, God will have to deal with man. And so, and so, and so, and so Paul said, uh, we have peace with God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank huh? you, Lord. That, 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 that God has made a way for us to have peace with him. Well, the only way that can happen is that this angry God, who is angry at sinners, help us, Lord, how he took all of his anger out on his son. <laughs> he, he exhausted his anger on Jesus. Help yes. us, Lord. And we bless his name that Christ yes. the Son has made peace for us with God. Yes. And, and so, so we're at peace with God. Not only we're at peace, but there's a kind of rest of, uh, uh, we're reconciled unto him. Thank you, Lord. We're, we're, we've been brought back into, into the family. We've been brought back into the relationship. God calls us his own because of what Christ has done. We have the favor of God. Oh, blessed. And then Paul said, Paul said, we, we stand in grace. Huh? Yeah. We, we, haven't, we, we, haven't, we haven't stopped sinning, but we sin less. We're standing in the grace of God, not, not passing through it, but all day. And Paul said, Paul, John said, he's, he's constantly washing us. Oh, yes. uh, he, he, he forgave us, but listen, he, he knows our nature. We, we ain't perfect. He's perfecting us. Mm -hmm. We're going through progressive sanctification. And so, and so God is, is, Christ is standing as a mediator and he's constantly washing us from our sins. Help us, Lord. Oh, yes. And so Paul, based on that, said we can't lose it because even if you just take those two, those two premises, you can't lose it because you got peace with God, hmm. huh? and then you're standing in the grace of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And not, not only that, he said, not only standing in the grace, he said, listen, hey, can't nothing shake us up. That's right. Because tribulation, we, we glory in tribulation. Help us, Lord. <laughs> huh? Because we realize that tribulation bring forth patience and patience oh, experience. Yes. Help, help us, Lord. Yes. And so God uses the circumstances and all of the things that's in this cursed world, help us, Lord. He uses it to mold and to shape us. He uses it to draw us closer to him. It sometimes it presses us down, but it don't press us out of our faith. It presses us into our faith Amen. because it, 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 it presses us where we have nothing and no help, and all we can do is look up to God. Oh, yes. oh bless his name. Bless and Paul said one day, he said it was good that we were afflicted. Thank you, Lord. Thank because listen, you. if you never had a problem, you never know that God is able to solve it. And so Paul says in that fifth chapter, he talks about you can't you can't lose it because of our standard. And so he deals with the Jewish mind, deal with hypothetical questions. And so they're saying to Paul, well, okay, we're saved by grace, through faith, there's a gift of God, and when grace abounds, sin about. Oh, wait a minute, Paul. You say when grace abounds, sin about, then what we need to do is keep on sinning so God can keep sinning the grace. Uh -huh. That seems logical. Oh, yeah. uh, that seems logical. Oh, yeah, you know, we will go down and dirty, the boat low down and dirty with the more grace that we get. Amen. And so they say, they say to Paul, what, what about what about what about sanctification? And that's what the six, seven, and eight chapter is about. Having been saved. Uh, does our life, does our life correspond with our salvation? Remember, God saved us with a specific purpose to make us holy. Yes. To help us, Lord. Oh, yes. He didn't save you to keep you looking, doing what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. He saved you in order to make you holy. And so they said, Paul, Paul, shall we continue sin? Can we, can we, in order that grace may abound, and, and, and certainly the legalists say, get on, Paul. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, 
Once God justifies us, when justification, when justification stops, sanctification stops. Yes. Help us, Lord. Oh, yes. And listen, if you got, if you've been justified, and 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 and, 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 and the and the sanctification didn't 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 start, well maybe you didn't get justified. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. And so that that's his argument that he said. That's his that's his all. Shall we continue in sin? He said, God, God forbid. He said, we say, what shall we say then? Shall we continue to sin? Not? How shall we who who died to sin live any longer in it? Huh? And that, that that's how God saved us, right? That's how he freed us. He had to, yes. I tell you, he had to kill us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had no reform program to take you in and, and say, this is. We're going to take you through the 12 steps and we're going to show you how to be a good moral person. How God ain't got none of that kind of stuff. God realized that we're unsound, we're undone from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet. We are undone. We're low down and dirty. And then, listen, God can't change us. We can't, we can't be changed. Our nature can't, can't be changed in that respect. God had to kill us. Amen. In order to cause us to live. And so we're passing when did it happen? Well, well, the head, the headship of, of this federation is Christ. Remember? And, and remember, on the flip side, that's how we got into this mess in the first place. Mm -hmm. By one man, sin entered this world. And from oh, sin, yeah. from sin came death, and all men died because all men sinned. The fellow that got us into this mess, his name was Adam. Mm -hmm. And all was in Adam. Help us, Lord. Oh, we were all condemned because of Adam. Every man who come into this world suffers the judgment because, because of what, what, what's in our nature. We got sin nature. Help, yeah. help us, Jesus. We're not sinners because of what we do. We're sinners because of what we are. Mm -hmm. Help us. And so, and so, and so, so God came to, to save us huh, by killing us and by raising us. Mm -hmm. And so Paul, all the men, listen, listen, he said, we say, no, you're not to you. That, uh, that uh, say, how, how can we, how shall we do, who, who, how shall we, who died to sin, live any longer, any longer in it? When we were in it, we were in this atmosphere of sin, huh? and, 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 and the one who orchestrated it all was, was the devil, and, and this world, and, and then our sin nature, and so we were in it. Huh? And, and the Bible says, an Ethiopian can't change his his, his color, nor a leper change his spot, nor can he who's accustomed to do evil help us more. Right. We're Amen. in this sphere, in this atmosphere, and this that's all we know. Oh yeah. You you may not have been a low down rotten runchy sinner. You may have been a good moral person. But listen, a good moral person and a good and a low down runchy person, they go into the same hell. Oh my God. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. And so, some people say, I don't do this and I don't do that. It ain't got nothing to do with what you do and don't do. Help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. self, self righteousness will send you to hell just like ungodly sin will send you to hell. All have sin. Yes. And fall short of the, of the glory of God. And so, people pat themselves in the back and say, I'm not like this one and that one and so forth and so on. It don't make any difference. That's right. Help us, Lord. The only thing that makes difference in life is your relationship to Jesus Christ oh, and your Lord. personal Savior. Yes, Lord. That you believe that Christ died for your sins, mm -hmm. was buried, was raised from the dead. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. Help. I, listen, listen. I, I, ain't what I, I ain't what I should be, but I thank God I'm not what I used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The process is ongoing. Help us, Lord. Oh, yeah. I, I, if, if you continue in sin, then that means that, that you have not died to sin. Mm -hmm. And the process of justification and sanctification has not taken place in your life. And so Paul argued with these, with these Jews about losing, he's about losing, and then by keeping your, your, your holiness. Help us, Lord. Yes, he Lord. said, he said, we died. So, do you not know that as many of us, verse 3, as were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? Oh, blessed name. And we're, we're not talking about water at this point. Not talking about water. We're, we're talking about the whole thing that makes up who Christ is. Huh? We were baptized 
in him. What belonged to him, what was his uh, uh, philosophy, is that we can all, we, we got into him. Yeah. Help us, Lord. Where he went, where he thought, what he did, all, we were baptized in him. And so when he died, help us, Lord, we died. Oh, yes. Oh, I you, told you that the first Adam brought us into his mess. The second Adam brings the intention of righteousness. Uh, when he went to the cross, he took us with him. He's the head of this new federation. But Jesus bare the cross along, and, and all the world go free. And the whole church said, no, 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 there's a cross for everyone. Oh, yes. Oh, and yes. there's a cross for me. So Paul said, Paul said, this holiness, this, this holiness is produced by the first act of justification. You can't continue in sin. If you still doing the same stuff you did last year, mm -hmm. and if you're a habitual doer of it, then you need to check yourself. Oh, yeah. Help them. Sometimes God has to send, send, send some, some beans and some, and some chastisement to make us turn loose some stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we're still children in the outside of God, and we, we still got the world stuff in us. We've been saved all right, yeah, and, but, but there's a struggle in us with sin. I told you some time ago that the fight in between us and God, the, that, that warfare has been done away with. But the struggle is always between me and the sin that dwelling in me. Yes. Oh, help us, Lord. There was some, oh, some, yes. some people in John's time John talking about they was perfect. That being born again means you're perfect. And, and maybe let me tell you something, that's a lie. <laughs> uh, it starts from out, that's a lie. We are not perfect. We're being, we're being perfected. And I, I say sometimes, sometimes you got the victory and sometimes you don't have the victory. Oh, yeah. If, if any man think he will, he will ride, the Bible says he's alive. Mm. We ain't none of us arrived yet. The only time you're going to ride is when we lay you out here right in front of the church. Uh -huh. uh, and we're going to put your, perch, your, your favorite lipstick on, your, your favorite twig. Help us, Lord. We're going to make you look good. And we're going to say, there lies a perfect, a perfect Christian, mm -hmm. looking all good. But now, you was ugly before then. We can help you. <laughs> help us, Lord. And so, so Paul said, therefore, we are buried in him with baptism into his death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. His resurrection, he died, he died for us, but when he was raised from the dead, the resurrected life that was in Christ is in us. Yes, it is. Oh, help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. He left the old us in the grave. And when he got up, we had a part, we had his resurrected life in us. Thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord. Oh, but you gotta nurture it. <laughs> you can't have it in you, and nobody ever see you at Bible class, and nobody ever see you at church service, and you walk around telling folks you you've been born again, and all this kind of stuff. And and the main thing that folks look at, they, they're not looking at how you how you dress and all this kind of care, no. But the, the objective, the object of our salvation, the objective of our is to produce fruit. If there's no fruit in your life, help us, Lord. It, it, you, there's a question of who, who you connected to. You know, fruit of love and peace and, and joy and self-control and suffering and so forth. Those are fruit of the Holy Spirit. When you spend time with him and humble yourself in obedience to him, huh, and do those, those means in which God has left us to do, prayer and meditation and so forth and so on, and love, help us, Lord. Lord love. Yeah. 
new, new love, new motivation, a new spirit, a new mind. The Bible says, any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. <clears throat> and all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Oh, oh bless his name. And so Paul talked about, uh, about these folks talking about, can you, can you, when, you, when you feel can, can, uh, be holy and, and, and maintain your holiness and so forth and so on. And, and Paul, Paul said, listen, we ain't continuing to sin because there's something that has happened to us. Help us, Lord. God, God has took us with Christ to the cross. We died. We have resurrected life in us. And the proof and evidence of our justification is the sanctification. There's something new about us. Oh, yes. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. You say, for verse 5, for if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord, that the body of sin might be done away, done away with, and we should no longer be slaves to sin. The old man, the old nature, that's what he means. That old nature, that, that sin nature mm -hmm. that's in us. I ain't talking about the devil now. <laughs> I ain't talking about the world, but I'm talking about the sin nature that all the devil has to do is set forth the, the temptations before us and the lust that is in us mm -hmm. will we'll react to the lust before us. Help us. No, nobody make you do it. Help us, Lord. It's the sin nature in you that all they have to do is just flicker the temptations and you you do the rest. It's part it's your sin and have control. Huh? It's oh. in, in, in order and all and listen, it's 24-7. Oh. You you think a cigarette habit is bad. Your sin nature is work, your sin nature is with you every day, 24-7. Oh. Always making accusations or, or an agreement and or a virgin, calling your mind, throwing your mind off from thinking about, yeah, we're talking about Christians, thinking about Christ, thinking about the Lord thing. You could, you could be you could be sitting down and watch TV half of the night and be wide awake, be wide up. Mm -hmm. And as soon as, soon as you put a Bible in your hand, you have read two verses and you start getting sleepy. Amen. Sin nature. That's right. Help us, Lord. Oh, yes. Always taking your mind away from the things and means in which God has left for us to grow with, that we might go to the fullness to the stature of Jesus Christ. We're always persuaded elsewhere. Our minds is always loaded down. And by the time you load your mind down with all that craziness and CNN and all that other stuff, huh? all that negative stuff, you forget the promises of God. Amen. Help us, Lord. And where you out? By the time you finish with all of the world stuff, your mind is just too tired. You want to lay down a while. Help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. But God, listen, has given this to refresh you, given this to say to you, I, I, I promise that I'll always be with you and never, oh, and never leave you. Yes. And so, and so, so that, 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 that same nature, that old man that controlled you, he died. Mm -hmm. He died. He died with Christ on the cross, and as he was resurrected, we have his resurrected life in us. Amen. That means that, mean that, that, that we are no longer a slave to sin. We were slave, as an old man we were slave. We, we, we had to do what the master said, and sin was the master. We had to do what, he, what sin said, but, but that, that old man is dead. Mm -hmm. Help us, Jesus. He's dead. You can't, he's finished, but he died, Christ, we died with Christ on the cross, he's dead. He no longer have the control over you. You in the newness of life, you got, you got, you got new life, you got new motive, you got new destination. God has made you new. Yes, Ezekiel yes. said he's given you a new heart. Has taken out the old heart of flesh, of stone matter, and put it in the heart of flesh. Giving you a new mind, giving you a new spirit. You, huh? Well, yeah. listen, just like a baby, you got to be nurtured, huh? To, to maximize all these things that God has given. You got to maximize. You, you, we nurture to maximize. Where you get the nurture? Well, that's why you come to church. Mm -hmm. That's why you spend your time in, uh, in the Word. 
Help us, Lord. Yeah. How, you, how, you, how you cherish those intimate times that, that you have with the Lord. Just, just you and him. That he makes, he makes life and the purpose of life have reason. Uh, you understand why you're alive. Uh, in this God-forsaken country, he makes you aware that you're alive because you're fulfilling his purpose, that you're light in the world and so on the earth. And your, your purpose is to live, not, 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 for, not, for, not for your mama, your children, but you live for him. Amen. Help us, Lord. Amen. Your purpose in life is being born again, that he, that he saved you, to give, to make your life among and in this world. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. Now listen. The book of Ephesians said not only did he save us, but he gave us an inheritance. Amen. Help us, Lord. Go to oh, yeah. Ephesians said he gave us, he saved us, but then he gives us an inheritance. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. And, and listen, the, the spirit, the spirit talks about, Paul talks about that. He said, he said, we, we, the spirit bear witness with our spirit. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord, that, that we, are, we, we got a relationship. We're in the family. You said we're heirs. Uh, and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, bless his name. Oh, this whole world belongs to the Son. Help us, Lord. Uh -huh. And everything that God created through the Son belongs. He, he made him heir of all things. Oh, and if yeah. Christ is the heir, Paul said, listen, we are joint heirs. Oh, yes. Oh, blessed man. I mean, that's good news. Yes, it is. When I think about all that, that I don't have, and then the Bible tells me all that I do have, <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a different fellow. Oh, yeah. I, I, I walk up with my head up high now because all that I do have, I, man, I can't number that stuff. Oh, I, I can't even keep all that stuff in this little head of mine. Mm -hmm. How all the things and stuff that God has made me air up.
we're going to live with him. You know, he still, he still lives, right? Yes, he does. And our death, our death brings us to our God. Double mm -hmm. soul. And we die with him. We're going to live with him. No man loses his life, y'all. You'll find it. For my sake, you'll go find it. Amen. You, you want to hold on to it, huh? You, you're going to lose it. But if you lose it for Christ's sake, man, he's going to give you eternal life. Yes. You have eternal life. Yes, he will. Oh, bless his name. Oh, and so he said, knowing that Christ having been raised, has been raised from the dead, dies no more, death no longer has dominion over him. That's Christ. And then we say, for the death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life that he lived, he lived to God. Likewise, meaning the same situation, you also reckon, that means to figure this out. He said, Con conclude this, you know, use your big head. Mm -hmm. uh, you you try to figure everything out. Use your, use your understanding. Oh, uh, yeah. You reckon yourself to be dead indeed to, indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in its lust. And do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourself to God as being alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under, under grace. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's our conclusion for tonight. We'll, we'll pick up uh, next Bible class and carry a little bit further. Uh, we want to we wanna get to Romans 8 and 1. That, that's where I'm at. That, that's where I'm at. It, it says, therefore. After you oh, finish yeah. all this, he oh, said, yeah. therefore. There's no condemnation to those who are in Christ. Isn't that, isn't that good news? Oh, yes. Uh, ain't, ain't that good news that the conclusion of this day, he says that what Christ has done for us, we stand before the judgment bar. Help us, Lord. Oh, the judge you. himself yes. is going to say, is going to say, is going to say, not guilty. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Yeah, yeah. He gonna, he gonna pardon us. Oh yes. The is. judge, because listen, somebody else has paid our price. My God. And God does not do double jeopardy. Mm -hmm. He died once, mm -hmm. but he died for us. We, he was wounded yes, for is. our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and when his stripes healed, 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 healed. He did it for us. Yes, he did. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That we might go free. Oh, bless his name tonight. Yes, this is Ryan Tony Stair Baptist Church. This concludes our Bible study for tonight. Thank God for, for you who have come and, and who are listening in. That God is, is, is exactly who he says that he is. He, he's a healer. He's a ruler. He's a heart fixer. Oh, he's yeah. a mind regulator. Oh, my Lord. He's my shield and buckler. Thank you, God. Oh, bless his name. Oh, Thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, we love him tonight. We love him because he first loved us. All of our members, we wish you well tonight. Continue to pray for, for this pastor and pray for the church. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you for thank our members you, who are in the hospital, Sister, Sister, Sister Prosper, and some who are at home sick. Uh, uh, those those that we can name and those but God has God has the listing. Oh, we're actually yes, praying for all of our members who are, who belong to and all of our friends. Amen. These are difficult times, but we serve a God that's that's able. Good night to you. God bless you. This is Ryan Stone, Church T. L. Franklin. God bless you. Amen.